Hi, so today I'm doing a review on the May Ipsy bag. Isn't that a fun bag? Now, um, if you're subscribed, you already know about the deal of it. $10 a month, no shipping fee, five, about four or five um, beauty products delivered to your door every month in a cute little bag. So if you're new, if you're not new, now you know what it's about. Well, the May Ipsy bag, um, I can't say it disappointed me, but I can't say it impressed me because there was an item missing and I'm not pleased about that. Um, I was one of the people that was told they were getting a Urban Decay Moon Shadow, um, the Moon Dust, whatever. I should have did my research before I did this, but I was supposed to receive one of those and I get my bag and it's not in there and I just kind of wept silently for like two minutes, good two minutes. Uh, forget it, I'll just buy it anyway. But still, Ipsy needs to stop promising me that I'm gonna get stuff and then I don't. Like that mascara from Benefit, I think it was. They were all like, you're getting it! And then I was like, you're not! So, um, yeah. So this month is Spring Fling. That's the theme. And we have a bunch of really great promotions on the other side of the card. And I mean, even if you aren't really into cosmetics, there's a great one for the Macadamia Natural Hair Oil, which is really great. So you need to stock up on that. Um, it's 30% off. Uh, what else? Zoya, buy two, get one free. That's pretty great. Um, Anastasia Beverly Hills. Everybody keeps raving about that. I haven't tried them yet. So I can't tell you really what I think. Um, Mirabella up to 50% off. They're always having a sale for 50% off. Pacifica, Yabby, New. It's pretty great ones. Anyway, let's start with what I got. I got um, Noom Finishing Serum. And I got this from another subscription a while ago. So this isn't new to me. And it's not a terrible product. It conditions and seals your hair. Um, a, this light, greaseless, humidity-resistant formula that delivers a slight, glossy finish. Um, protects your hair from environment and physical stress, yada, yada, yada. Pretty much, it just keeps your hair looking great. Now, um, I don't really use heating products on my hair, at least not anymore. I don't dye my hair. I don't do any of those things. I even cut my own hair. Uh, right now, it's terrible. It's a mess. It's wild because of... I just am not taking care of it right now, but I will be. But this isn't really something I would have used. I would have preferred the macadamia oil that some people got, but hey, not a terrible product, just not something that really suits me. And they do have a beauty profile, so I'm not sure why they didn't consult that before sending me this. Um, like I said, if you use heating products or heating, any, any kind of like that, any, if you're in a big city, I guess even if you live in New York City like me, you might find more use for it, but... Um, I personally just, I, you know, I already have one and if, I've had it for a while now and it's gotten no use. My personal opinion. Then next we have up is the Zoya Polish. Everybody got one from the Lovely Collection. And I would have raved about this had the Lovely Collection been new. The Lovely Collection came out in what, February? Um, just, not, no, January, February, March? We're in May! This isn't new. You're supposed to give me things that I'm supposed to try that are new. This is not new, and I actually have this because I got the whole collection minus, like, Jacqueline. So the one color that I didn't have, you didn't send me. Although you couldn't have known that, so, you know, whatever. But if you're a big fan of Zoya, this is a great product. Great staying power on the nails. Great color options. Creamy, creamy formula. You know, goes on consistency. Not really streaky consistently. Not really streaky. You know, just... It, doesn't ship easily. They have great um, top coats, base coats. Zoya is a great brand. So if you didn't already have this color, you should have been stoked because this is great. And this bottle alone is like, I don't know, $8. You're paying $10 for the bag. So the bag already paid for itself. So you really can't complain this month if you don't have this color. Next, we see another color, another product from Pacifica. If you, uh, I just dropped it in like my plant, so it's a little fuck. So, um, Pacifica. Now, if you've been around since, you know, last year, or I think it was January, they gave, um, a Pacifica product, and I really wasn't a huge fan about it. That was the month where there was not one makeup, um, cosmetic thing in the bag, which was confusing. Now, I have no real qualms about this product. It's a coconut crushed pearl bronzing body power, bronzing body butter, sun-kissed glow with coconut oil, pearls, and sea minerals. Wow, that's a title. 
Now, I really don't, like I said, I don't have any um, qualms with it. My one true problem is it smells so much like cocoa butter that I feel like when I put it on, I'm going to get a headache. Like, I put a little bit on my hand just to test, and every time I put my hand near my nose, I felt like that overwhelming when you go to the beach and you're next to someone that's lathering themselves up with coconut, um, with that coconut... Uh, cocoa butter that smell in the hot sun like that's what it reminded me of as for its bronzing powder I put it on my hand I rubbed it in I didn't see any effect I didn't see any shimmer I didn't really see any effects but I'll do it for you guys so here I even put a generous amount okay I'll rub this in because like I said that was a generous amount let me get that in oh, the smell right now I can't even so There's no difference, really. I mean, this side's just a little bit shimmery. And the sun. Uh, the sun, I lost my angle. But either way, you really can't see a difference. And the smell is just a bit overpowering for me personally. Um, two more products. I got a Gabby Buff um, concealer, I think it is. Now, if you remember, um, what was it, two months ago, three months ago, we got those little Yabby, um mini Z palettes with the shadows that were terrible. Um, I actually didn't try this yet, so I'm going to try it really quickly here. I believe this can go into the Mini Z palette because it has the metal backing. And I got the color Buff, and there's Buff right there. It's, um, it's quite light. It does match my skin tone, I can't complain. I'll give it a further review. And hopefully, since my finals end next week, yay, I can start actually blogging again and giving you more in-depth information on these products. Um, and last but not least, I got the Juice Beauty Organic Solution um, Pink Gloss. I'm really not a fan of organic or all-natural uh, products because I feel like they just don't deliver. So I'm um, a little not happy about that. But overall, it has a really nice, like, citrusy smell. It definitely overpowers this terrible smell I have on my hand. It's a nice shimmery purple. It actually reminds me just a tad of the new purple that's coming out with Temperature Rising. So I might actually, I was actually thinking about skipping that purple and getting this one, or keeping, just using this one because it does have that little bit of tiny um, shimmer, reflective shimmer that I would like. Again, I lost the sun in this area. So, I, and this is a nice little matte tube. It's matte um, outside, makes it look really nice. Um, it's, it's chic, I like it. And I definitely love the smell of it. And I also was lucky enough to get um, one of these little promo cards, which gives me $110 off styling, hair styling tools and hair extensions. Um, I'm not sure if I'm going to use it. I mean, $110 off, you get a promo cord like that. You know that their products are pretty expensive. But I'll check them out. Um, if I don't use it, I guess I'll put it up for grabs for anybody that will use it. But um, I will let you guys know. And the Zoya is already spoken for. I already told my friend she could have that. So, um, overall, not a terrible month. Um, did get five products. Like I said, if you were new to Zoya, if you were new to this new um, hair protectant, if you like the smell of coconut butter, then you'll like this. I mean, not terrible, not... Like, my whole opinion, I feel, is based on the products I already own and the samples I already own versus what this bag is really worth to you. It's all, like, these subscriptions really come down to what's it worth to you, what are these samples worth to you, how likely are you to repurchase these products.